very good morning to all of you today we are going to discuss the topic strips uh, let's go through the contents these are the contents which we are going to discuss in our presentation firstly we'll talk about the topic what is strips after that we'll go through the algorithm which is used in strips then we will talk about the heuristic search algorithm uses of strips then key features of strips then application how it works and the examples used then the references okay mm. let's go through the introduction part uh, so strips stands for stand for research institute problem solver it is a problem solving uh, planner which is used in shaky that is a robot which was built using AI technology. It is a planning algorithm which was developed by Stanford Algorithm AI Lab in 1970s. The idea behind is representing actions and goals as set of preconditions and effects. We'll talk about it in the further slides. Let's go through the strips algorithm okay it is a hierarchical uh, like structure like we can say it as hierarchy hierarchy form because it break down it breaks down the problem into sub problems and then it solve them independently and it uses a heuristic search algorithm to find a solution to each sub problem then it combines the solution to the sub problems to find a solution to the overall problem okay uh, the heuristic search algorithm which was used in problem solving for planning uh, here it works by starting from specific point uh, and choosing the next best option until reaching the goal here are some steps the first steps would be we will start we will start from the starting point then we will keep selecting the best options as we have discussed uh, as we know that we have to choose the cost which is minimum from that so uh, then we will choose the options that has the lowest estimate cost to the goal If the option is goal, then we return the plan. Expand the chosen option by creating all possible next options. For each option, calculate the estimate cost to reach the goal. And then we will add these new options to the list of potential options if they haven't already been visited before. If no plan is found and there is no more options is left, then the algorithm will turn a failure now let's go through the usage of strips algorithm to solve planning problems uh, we have we use this strips algorithm uh, for navigation like where an agent needs to move from one location to another we can use strips algorithm for scheduling also we can use strips algorithm to define a sequence or we can say for example if you want to uh, schedule an appointment then we can use it preconditions would be not schedule or available or effects would be scheduled okay so scheduling algorithm like heuristic search algorithm and csp constraint satisfaction problem now another use is resource allocation how to allocate limited number of resources that is materials equipment automated planning is the example for it planning route and pathfinding problems now comes coming to the key features of strips so there are so many key features of strips as we have discussed the hierarchical method which it is it uses like it solves the problem by dividing into 
multi sub multiple sub problems and it also allows for the manipulation of objects and symbols in order to solve problems like if we solve a problem we have to give keep some changes so we can use it it also allows for the use of heuristics and planning in order to find solutions to problems it also allows for the use of planning domains and problem solving domains in order to find solutions now let's go through the next slide which is application where we can use it so the application would be automated planning systems where we plan the root of our problem uh, next would be the natural language processing so for, uh, for strips can't handle ambiguity and vari variability uh, like we have discussed about the appointment scheduling so that can be used we have given an example like we have a sentence John went to store and brought some milk so the goal would be John has milk actions would be go John comma store like uh, we have to send the John to the store another actions would be buy like John buy milk so these can be the another option uh, or we can use it for the knowledge representations too next go through the real time application we have discussed about the shaky robot which was a robot that could plan out the path it would take to move around even if there would things blocking its way maybe some hurdles to stop it it still it works on that it also able to do things like moving boxes around this is uh this is a problem which has given to the shaky robot like we have written here push the box one and this is this one is our coordinate where it has to push that push that box it is a simple command that someone might give my shaky robot the software which was used by shaky in strips planner this helped the robot figure out how to move around obstacles in the limited world it has designed to operate in. Shaky's world was made up of rooms that were connected by corridors and it had light switches that could operate. Whenever some told Shaky to do something, the robot would start working on the mission. Now let's understand the working the whole process which strips uses uh, the strips representation consists of three parts first one is an initial state s second one would be a goal state g third one would be a set of strips actions these are the specific uh, parts and the representation it has three lists of list for representation first one would be the precondition list it contains pre, -con pre predicates which have to be true before operations like it is a set of condition precondition pre what we can say it is a set of conditions which is true before the action has been performed another one would be add list it is also a set of condition which is true after the action has been performed the third would be the delete list it is a set of condition which is true before the action has been performed but no longer be true after actions has been performed let's understand the example which I have shown here in this example we have uh, some parameters which we have to give for planning so initially our initially uh, 
वी आर इन दिस स्टेट वेयर आर ब्लॉक टू इज ऑन द ब्लॉक वन एंड ब्लॉक वन इज ऑन द टेबल एंड द ब्लॉक फाइव इज ऑन द ब्लॉक फोर एंड ब्लॉक फोर इज ऑन द ब्लॉक थ्री एंड ब्लॉक थ्री ऑन द इज ऑन द टेबल सो ओ एन टी शोज दैट इट इज ऑन द टेबल एंड ऑन शोज दैट इट इज अपॉन समथिंग एंड क्लियर मीन्स इट हैज नथिंग अबाउट इट इट हैज नथिंग अबाउट अबाउट एंड नेक्स्ट हेयर वी हैव अ गोल स्टेट वेयर वी कैन से इट ऑल्सो यूज द सेम पैरामीटर्स लाइक एम टी शोज दैट रोबोटिंग आर्म हैज नथिंग इन टू इट्स इन टू इट एंड रेस्ट कंडीशन आर सेम लाइक ब्लॉक थ्री इज ऑन ब्लॉक फोर एंड ब्लॉक फाइव इज ऑन ब्लॉक वन एंड ब्लॉक टू इज ऑन द टेबल नाउ वी हैव टू डू दैट इनिशियल वी हैव टू वर्क ऑन दैट इनिशियल इनिशियल प्रॉब्लम इनिशियल स्टेट एंड देन वी हैव टू रीच टू द गोल सो लेट्स आइडेंटिफाई द स्टाइल ऑपरेटर्स फॉर गिविंग प्रॉब्लम फर्स्टली वी हैव टू अनस्टैक ब्लॉक फोर ब्लॉक फाइव फ्रॉम ब्लॉक फोर सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज द प्री कंडीशन वुड बी द ब्लॉक फोर प्री कंडीशन वुड बी विच इज विच इज सेम लाइक वॉट वी हैव इन आर इनिशियल पोजिशन दैट ब्लॉक फाइव इज ऑन द ब्लॉक फाइव ब्लॉक फोर एंड ब्लॉक फाइव इज क्लियर एंड नेक्स्ट इज डिलीट वॉट वुड बी द डिलीट कंडीशन दैट ब्लॉक फोर ब्लॉक फाइव इज ऑन द ब्लॉक फोर एंड द वॉट वुड बी द एड लिस्ट कंडीशन दैट वी हैव रोबोटिक आर्म हैड हैज होल्डेड ब्लॉक फाइव and block 4 has clear this would be the unstack unstack means removing that element with the help of robotic arm uh, next one would be the put down block 5 uh, what it shows that uh, in the diagram it shows that the robotic arm has put it the block 5 on to the table so pre condition would be it has holded it nothing is to be done and delete condition sorry delete condition would be again it has holded that block 5 and the add list would be block 5 is on the table okay next would be the unstack so unstack would be again similar condition that property arm has uh, taken that block 4 so pre condition would be like this that block 4 is on block 3 and block 4 it's clear like that it has nothing about it and uh, delete condition would be still the same that block 3 is block 3 is having block 4 on to it and the add list would be the block ro- robotic arm has holded block 4 and block 3 is clear and now again put down we will put the box 4 at the on the table and clear the block 3 so say similarly block precondition would be precondition delete condition would be same and add list would be uh, that a robotic arm has put it block 4 on the table and the pickup pickup means a uh, robotic arm has taken the object from the table so precondition with would be that block 3 is on the table and block 3 is clear that it has nothing about it and delete condition would be the block 3 is on the table uh, add list would be it has holded block 3 now uh, we have to stack like we have to put block 3 on the block 4 so pre condition would be we have cleared block 3 and hold block 3 and we have delete condition would be we have cleared block 4 and hold block 3 now add list would be block 3 is on the block 4 we have put it block 3 on the block 4 again unstack we'll 
the the robotic arm will take block two, and then it put it on the table, and again pick up the block five with the help of robotic arm. Then again it stack it above block one, which is to get our goal, which we were trying to achieve. Now, after completing all the operation, what we found for the given problem, we had reached the goal, which was we have emptied the robotic arm and put it block three on the block four, block five on block one, and block two on the table. Which now let's go through the limitations of strips. Uh, first limitation would be it has limited number of actions and goals. Second would be it only finds plan that are guaranteed to work, like it won't work without the goal. It ha it already knows that what we have to do and what we have to achieve. Uh, it is insufficient and it cannot find plans that are likely to work, but might fail. Plans it finds. Are often long and complicated. That's we ca we have discussed earlier. Now these are the rough references which, where we have uh, studied this topic. Thank you so much.